Oke, okay, so welcome to uh, entrepreneurship and success skill uh, class. And today uh, we will discuss uh, again, and then we will we will uh, together learn and also discuss about uh, the next uh, discussion topics here yeah, for this course that we call uh, lean startup and development. So actually, in this uh, session, uh, we are in the stage of in the early stage here yeah, or in the initiation stage how we want to develop uh, one of the business entities so like a startup or, or or another form of the business entities so this is very important because before we we, we develop some uh, business units or business entities that we call a startup or at or maybe another's uh, units so we need to know about how to develop that that, uh, that unit first and then we need to, to to also to see the how what the complexity and then how the, the strategy to, to to build that that one so this is uh, the 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 lean startup and development uh, we will try to give you some knowledge and also uh, the the principle how we we develop with a very uh, fast way and also with the you know the uh, try to to build with the in the efficient and effective way and also we will focus on the on the on the goals the purpose and also of course the vision and the value of the of the organization or the startup itself and the you know the the material we will discuss more deeply about the lean startup based on the theoretical basic first and then we will do some exercise with several activities and then we uh, and then we will we will have some experience about it in the in the very very clear way yeah so in the our platform in the e-learning platform in Elok, i already set up the material in there uh, you can you can also see that one and then also the the plan of the activities but before we discuss about the activities let's discuss first about the uh, the material for today's yeah so this is the the lean startup so the lean startup is a promote by Eric Ries. Yeah, this is uh, in 2008. Yeah, which uh, in that time we we have uh, the second wave of the digital booming uh, company. Yeah, or uh, or the second wave of the startup uh, growth in the world. Yeah, we know that the dot com company came in the in 1998, uh, that establishing the Google era and so on. And then in 2008, we we also have the momentum to. Uh, about the the startup race in the world, yeah. So we have a lot of uh, you know ex very exponential growth in the number of startup and also the number of the of the development of startup itself. So where this is very important because uh, the growth is because of one of the, uh, the the new methodologies or new strategy how uh, young people and also the entrepreneur do and build their own business with very fast and very effective way. Uh, previously, before we have the Lean Startup, we also discussed about it's very, you know, it's very, um, we will very busy when we want to prepare and develop a business unit. We need to have a lot of things to things, yeah. We, we have a lot of matters that we need to prepare and then we, we need to, we have a lot of calculation to, before we, 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 we execute some of the uh, action in there. So that's why, uh, based on the experience in that time, the Lean Startup came and then uh, be one of the uh, good models, especially in early stage here, yeah, for, for developing the, the startup. So in the term of reference for, for to discuss about the Lean Startup is, actually Lean Startup is, is, is work well in, in very early stage here. Yeah. And after that, uh, we, we, we need a new, uh, you know, new, new development models or new life cycle that more focus on the scalability and also reliability of the business itself. So the Lean Startup is very good for, for example, for we have a small organization and then we need to do in the fast way and we need to, to have a fast response to, to come up with the idea or innovation. And also uh, we need to compete as soon as possible to the market when, when we face that the market is very, you know, very, very tight and then uh, we need to, yeah, to, to, to in the middle of the market itself, yeah. So that's why it's very important to uh, for you and for me, we, we, we together to to see what is the lean startup means, yeah. 
So this is the uh, the introduction about it. So uh, many uh, companies and many uh, unit organization or maybe a business organization uh, try to explore themselves to work out uh, in many many ways in, in many many sectors to to see uh, the opportunity. But unfortunately, they they don't they, they not see they have their own opportunity inside their innovation and and discoveries. So this is very uh, very. Uh, very important so sometimes you can see that uh, some organization uh, do some you know like a fit study or maybe benchmark uh, outreach to overseas and so on to see what the the other company do and so on but today we doesn't need to do that one because actually the innovation is already inside in the company organization itself when they they want to discuss talk with 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 the uh, you know with the team and then uh, see what what happened in the team uh, every day, and then uh, and what the the problem that occurs, and then we, we related with the you know the, the problem in the community, for example, and then we try to do the best of, of it, and then we came with the, the with the new innovation. Of course, the innovation is not about like a scientific breakthrough or a scientific novelty, but but this is like we we try to to see that the the, the common business. In the community or a common process in the community, we try to break through in the very efficient way, and uh, not into the different way. But uh, somehow we, we we try to to develop the innovation. How how people uh, you know uh, use some tools that uh, already exist. Uh, so that would be uh, the good things actually. Like maybe uh, the last meeting that we, I show you about the the type of the innovation. When people just uh, you know uh, print the image, the good image on the paper bag, and then uh, the glass bag also is added by some image. So we will have a uh, innovation in that. We, we can see the the enhancement of the of the of the uh, of the function of the tools that that we can see in that. So that's mean of the innovation is already embedded in the product. So we just need to. To, to came up with new idea and then new approach and then uh, we, we will already have the, the, the new innovations. So this is the, the very important things. So uh, yeah, in here we can see that entrepreneurship is the capacity to act on, on an opportunity that innovation and discoveries create. So it's mean we, we, we work on it, yeah. So yeah, the Lean Startup itself, when we, we discuss about what is the Lean Startup, it actually is method, yeah, this is like, how we think, how we have uh, logical thinking. The Lean Startup method is about how to drive a startup, how to sit, to steer, yeah. when to turn, when to uh, preserve, and then grow a business with maximum acceleration. So it's mean it is like uh, when we drive a car, it is like a manual. How we, we drive a car with with very very good way. We can uh, we can do some acceleration when we need uh, business uh, growth. And then we can we can see uh, how we, we want to you know to turn and then we maybe we, we, we just break the uh, uh, you know the break and then and then we we need to, to accelerate it more so this is like about the 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 science about how we we we, we run fast and then when we, we we need to manage our our running exercises yeah so that will be uh, very very strategic for us to, to see this one because you know, uh, as like a startup, uh, we already know that we need to to work uh, in very fast way, and also we need to 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 go with the good innovation. Uh, we we need to to have a fast product uh, that uh, go to the market, and then also uh, we we need to solve the problem in the community. So in that time, it's very uh, difficult if we. Let's say if we, we use the lean startup in the in the company in the big company. It's very difficult because the big company is always have a uh, roles and some of the procedural steps that um, sometimes is make a uh, time. Uh, the time consuming is very, you know, very very long. And then we need a lot of improvement. And then we need a lot of you know uh, some of the parties that we need to deal. And then we need to negotiate with every every parties that that involved in this in this part of the life cycle so that will be very difficult in this in this case the lean startup is we we we, we try to, to to discuss more fast and then we 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 doesn't need to have a lot of uh, you know bureaucracy and then 
and and also we, we just came with the innovation so this is very different yeah it's like uh, in the football like a uh, total football strategies yeah so we just uh, offensive uh, in the attack and then we try to to make uh, some of the impact on the attacker so yeah uh, in the you know in the threat of uh, activities when we we more focus on the on the attack so sometimes the defense itself is very weak yeah so that's 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 some of the uh, risk that we need to to handle when we do this one yeah so that's so what the conclusion about the lean startup in the states is uh, you need to know that lean startup is method so the method is always like you know it's, it's good uh, we implement in some of the situation some condition we, we cannot do the lean startup for every uh, major condition yeah so, so it will be very wrong method for, for to do that one so it's mean when we, we, we do the lean startup it's mean we need to consider about the condition the current condition and when you see uh, the the condition is matched with the the lean startup so we can do the lean startup so the question is what are the uh, you know what is the the condition that we can do in the lean startup actually the lean startup can do when the startup is not exist yet so it means we are in the still on the mode of the developments or maybe uh, yeah which we need we still so we have idea but we need to discuss more about the idea to develop with your team to you know to to see the possibility of the idea and then uh, you know that you're not alone because you are with we, you have a lot of competitor for example we you you also doesn't have a lot of resources for example and so in that case the lean startup can help you to to come up with the new idea it's mean in the lean startup is not uh, like you know when when you want to build a startup it doesn't matter if you doesn't have you if you doesn't have any resource yet uh, even you only have a zero resources uh, you can do that one you can you can you can have your own startup with the lean startup so that's the mean of the lean startup yeah so when we see this one actually is uh the purpose of the method is to developing the business here yeah. so and then the product yeah so this is the focus in the business and the products so which what which is the the, the first uh, role yeah. the, the business on the product first actually is the business model first yeah so in here we 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 trigger to to see that actually we, we not always think in the first time is about the product so it's mean like we, we try to cater what is the problem in the customer side and then we try to develop a business model first a solution uh, of the problem that we discovered before so for example when we see like customer have difficulties yeah, to to uh, you know uh to have a payment gateway that more easy for them to 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 pay every every single cost in the in the daily activities for example so it's mean we we, we doesn't not think in the first is like okay i will i will make like a, a application like copay or maybe like ofo or something but what you think is what the business model that i can provide the community can uh, solve the payment process for all daily costs yeah in every day for example and then the the, the payment gateway or the payment of financial technology application is just the tools that we call the products yeah so that's really the nice one so it's mean when we we, we see this one uh, in the lean startup we, we push to more focus on how we we make the game change here yeah? how we make the business process that uh, usually work in that form can be can be a difference when we, we we approach with our methods here yeah. so that's will be uh, the challenge for you so in here's uh, I will act, I will give you some advice as a student in the computer science you need to open your mind and then uh, see that not all the things in the startup is always about develop applications yeah. uh, it's not about uh, you know code some application uh, we you not it doesn't it doesn't always about you know develop some product based on the internet of things but the most important thing is what is the business model that we want to change uh, maybe uh, what is the, the new business model that you want to put you you want to introduce to into the community so that's more important so that your product is only the the tools to you know to to realize that 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 purpose yeah so that's that's the most important things yeah 
So the first principle is you think the business first, and then the product is the second. And then, but of course, because we think about the business and product, so they can see that shorten the product development cycle. Yeah. So uh, uh, by adapting the, a combination of business hypothesis, drive on experimentations. Yeah. So it's mean we 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 try to uh, you know to do the research and development the in the in the in the business process uh, uh, case, and then we will. Uh, we will uh, input and then we will add into the development of the products. So in, in here, we, 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 in the Lean Startup, we also have a, a very a very specific or unique uh, life cycle because uh, the, the, the process of development of business and the product will be bring together in the same time, in the same periods here. Yeah. So it's mean, uh, we we need to have a very fast way to think a very fast way to discuss about how uh, to to make a deal between business and product in the same times yeah so for example when you have a team that thinking about the business model into the sum of the financial technology to solve the payment uh, pays daily daily cost activities so in the same time your your product team will think about how I can I can deliver the platform of the financial technology to solve that. So and then uh, the the business uh, team will be do some you know some maybe some research to the market about the need the requirement of the financial technology and then in the first stage when they have the information will be discussed with you in the technology team and then design the prototype and then go back to the market validation and we have a feedback and then in the first way. We, 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 we need to change the, the, the landscape of the technology. So that would be very important. Uh, very important. So that's why in years, we, 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 we will have this one, it, uh, iterative product release. So it's mean the product will never uh, have a version. It's mean the product will be always changing based on the business demand or business requirement. Yeah? And then this is like a validated learning. So in years, we, we try to learn what the the what the what the customer want what the customer need what the market need actually in this in that case yeah. so that will be very important yeah and then the purpose of this is in order to meet early need of customers and also in the same time we reduce the market risk it's mean what's the mean of the i think you already understand about the need of customers yeah. of course we need to 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 catch up with the customer needs but reduce market risk it's mean we, we try to reduce that uh, when we, we, we only focus on the technology or product and, and we, we doesn't care about the customer need. When we launch the product, what happened? Uh, and the customer will be, will be avoid and then reject your, your, your product, for example. So that's mean you, you will feel you will have a failness on it. So it's mean we need to reduce that risk. So that's why the iterative product release will be one of the solution on it. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, the impact of it is to avoiding spending money when the outcome is uncertain. Because, yeah, you know, uh, uh, it will be very harmful for startup if we spend a lot of money of investment, for example, into the, in the product development. But unfortunately, we doesn't care about what the customer need. So, yeah, you know, we will do, we will, we will build some product that never ending, and then we will, we will build some product that. That never meet with the customer need, so it will be very, it will be disaster. Yeah, so, so that's the the, uh, you know, the characteristic of the lean, the lean startup. So, let's say uh, we back to the to the last presentation with your team when you promote your your team member and then you have some idea on your 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 product development. So it's mean it's not wrong, but uh, the the based on this lean startup, I think before you introduce what you want to produce or you want to develop with your team is you need to propose what is the business model that you need to to, uh, to promote with your teams yeah so that's very important so today we will learn about it yeah and in the you know in the lean startup we we, we have some some myth or, or some principles that we need to, to you need to know yeah uh, the myth number one is lean means chips yeah yeah Actually, it's not cheap, but Lean Startup try to spend as little money as possible. So it's mean we we will trigger to think to use uh, a lot of resources in the internet, or maybe in the our network, our community, 
that can support our activity in the very cheap way. Yeah. So for example, if I need to see what is our uh, database of our customer, so you need to go to the internet and then search about the demography of, of Yogyakarta, for example, uh, how many students in Yogyakarta, how many uh, left hood in Yogyakarta, and so on. So it means you, 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 you maximize the, 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 the resources uh, around you that you can have uh, freely. Uh, you work, uh, yeah, I think in the early stage, startup doesn't need to have an office, so you go to the, to the you know, to the working space, and then you, you, use, you only use that you need, and then, and, and then you, you only spend for the coffee, for example. So that would be the good one. So if you, uh, so it is good enough here today, because a lot of uh, campus facilities, for example, in, in our campus, actually, in Nepal, for example, is also uh, already have one uh, working space uh, in the in the uh, building of uh, uh, you know postgraduate uh, building in the basement. So when you have opportunity, maybe next semester, if you can go to the campus, you can see you can use that 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 space, uh, very good works working space because it's sponsored by uh, BNI. So I think it's one of the good uh, you know uh, working space in campus. I think. So that will be also uh, one of the, the challenge for you. And yeah, you can join some, you know, especially in this, in this situation, yeah, we all, or we, we, we have, uh, all, you know, uh, online activities in every, every program. So uh, it's very more, more simple for us. If you want to join some, some maybe some startup incubation or maybe startup program development, you just join in the online session and then you have, uh, all the material and also the, the 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 advice to develop your startup, for example. Yeah. So the truth is, the actually the lens, uh, the lens uh, is it's not always about money actually, but the most important on the lens is about speed. Yeah. So we think fast, we collaborate fast, and then we discuss in the fast, very fast way, and then we 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 we, we try to to uh, to come up with the innovation in the fast way. Yeah, we, we doesn't want to you know uh, you you think in, in in a very long way to to have the idea or innovation and then you will have you will lose your moment uh, to introduce your idea so that will be will be the uh, you know uh, some of the uh, it will not happen in the lens yeah so it's mean it's not always about cost but also the, but most importantly it's about uh, speed yeah so yeah for in the lean startup, it means you you will ask to run in the sprint way, uh, yeah. So it will be very fast and then a very very, uh, very very you know very rapid uh, uh, for the pro the the milestone or maybe the the targets, yeah. So the second myth is uh, it won't work for my business. It's only for tech and web companies, yeah. So it's also one of the myth in the lean startup. So. If we, we, if we can see, maybe if you learn from article in the internet, uh, Lean Startup is always about the tech or web companies. But actually it's not, yeah, because any company uh, and also industry can use this Lean Startup methodology to reduce uncertainty uh, about what your customer really want. Yeah. So if we, we want to see, uh, uh, you know, the changing that uh, uh, bringing some goodness into the organization or company, and also a uh, company uh, maybe have uh, some problem with their product because the product is not going to the market. Even we do a lot of, you know, uh, campaign, uh, some promotion or branding strategy, but it doesn't work. It's mean we need to go to the lean startup. Yeah. So this is for any company. Yeah. But of course, uh, the company that want to, to, to really want uh, to see the customer need. Yeah. So, and the third is, uh, is only work for uh, small or also put swipe companies, yeah. But actually, it's also work for uh, capital intensive or large scale project, yeah. So if we have uh, some project that have uh, resources from uh, uh, many, many resources involve uh, a lot of funding, for example, it also can, can, can work for, for that, that, that purpose, yeah. Yeah, so that is, uh, that will be, you know, uh, uh, you will see, uh, you will see the difference on it. So based on this myth, actually we can learn the learn startup is about speed, yeah, and then about to see the customer need, and then the, the next is about utilizing uh, our current resources, yeah. So that will be uh, the the important things, yeah. 
So based on this uh, discussion, any question from you? Please, if you have any question about it, uh, please uh, feel free to speak or just uh, write in your chat. Yeah. Okay, no? Okay. Uh, okay, that will be uh, uh, the, the first uh, point yeah, that we discuss about the definition or about the things that we need to know about the Lean Startup. So the next is, I will go to the next. So this is the, uh, you know, the, the five principles or the five process, the major process of the Lean Startup. Yeah. So the first is entrepreneur is every, are everywhere. Yeah. So which mean uh, this is about you know uh, about we realize that all the resource that 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 collaborate with us is actually the entrepreneurs. The entrepreneur means is a person or maybe some some parties that have independent right to do with their own mind and their own opinion, and also they have some innovation and product. So it's mean in the lean startup we think about every parties is have. Uh, contribution on the innovation and product development with your teams yeah especially when you have a team in your uh, in your place uh, every team even uh, maybe he or she only work on the financial things or maybe in the administrative way actually he also have some impact on the on the on the innovation and the product development so uh, you you are for example, if you are the CTO or Chief Technology Officer that is responsible to develop the product, so it means you also need to ask them about what your, the expectation of the of the product itself. So this is what mean of the entrepreneurs. Yeah. So the, the second is entrepreneurship is management. So this is like how we manage all the resources that will be involved in our development environment. Because it's very important to see that uh, sometimes like, let's say like when we develop like uh, in the startup, we we think about the funding. Yeah, so I, I, I uh, sir, I think I don't have a lot of money to start my startup. For example, uh, yes, of course, the money is very matter. But actually, we can we can start the startup uh, without money in the first place. But if we can combine a lot of resources, so I can see a lot of uh, you know a lot of uh, example about it. Like say like kitabisa.com. I say they they work. The uh, you know the, the startup is work based on the collaboration. Uh, they doesn't have a, a lot of money, but they can they, they have the idea and then uh, they they put strap with their own to develop the prototype and then after that they, they, they campaign and then they have the interaction, they have the attention uh, in uh, uh, for a lot of uh, people in there and then in in the same times uh, they can raise the funding and then they can develop their startup in a good way. It's also happened with the good startup in Indonesia. One of the, I think, one of the good, yeah, the best startup in Indonesia, like not flux uh, and and etc. It also have the same idea. So they, they doesn't work in the you know uh, in, uh, with the big money in the first place, but they they, they work with their own, and then uh, after they have they be in the attractive way because they they can explain about you know uh, how. They work will change the landscape of the community, the business process, and then in the time in the time they, they will have uh, idea to, to see the, the uh, and, and and make uh, you know attractive to the investor and so on. So they have the money to to, to raise up and then to scale up the companies. And then this is like a validated learning, yeah, because this is like iterative way. Uh, so we will have a lot of feedback in every you know in every aspect of the of the learning process so they, they can see how uh, the, the learning will be validated by trial and error of course and then they do the build measure and learn and then also they have the innovation on the content things yeah so that would be the, the next one so this is like uh, the principle yeah yeah entrepreneur is everywhere yeah even in the well-established firm it's also same things yeah 
So uh, this is like uh, you know uh, the uh, the you know the word that that make the highlight that my 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 word uh, previously about this yeah. And then the yeah, entrepreneurship is about management yeah. And then uh, in the validated learning is about customer of course yeah. And then this is like feedback loop yeah. Build, measure and learn is about the feedback loop. So in the learn in the learn startup we will have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, feedback from the customer and then we use that 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 you know that that feedback as uh, you know as as resources to to make the product and the business model more more uh, more good yeah have an enhancement and so on so this is will be uh, very very uh, very uh, very very important for you yeah because actually your product and your business will be have an enhancement because not of you but because of the customer so more close with your customer your product will be more good yeah have a good quality if you think your good your product is is excellent based on the development of your engineering team actually it's not yeah. so that will be the threat of the startup yeah so we think that we are from the computer science and then we have a good uh, skill to develop uh, some application but actually it's not it's good for us but not for the customer so that's the problem and then the, the the last is about using actionable metric, yeah, mostly about customer behaviors, yeah. So this will be uh, very important things, yeah. So this is the this is the, the, the explanation of the principle num the principle of number one, yeah. Entrepreneurs are everywhere. Uh, you don't have to work for a for or launch a startup venture to be entrepreneur. You don't uh, you don't have to work in garage to be a startup, yeah, because. You already uh, actually you you already the entrepreneurs. Even you are not student. Even I am I'm lecture. We are the uh, long life entrepreneurs. Uh, we can we can we can we can define we can state when you are you you all want to to start your journey and start up. Uh, even that maybe for example after this you have any idea? Okay, so I will I will try to open my account in in Tokopedia and then I will I will give some you know. Uh, uh, some services to, to to make a paper, for example, <laughs> and then you you make some some promotion in Tokopedia. So that should be your your, your journey on the entrepreneurship. Yeah, uh, I have one one friend in Yogyakarta. He know one of the most uh, success entrepreneur in Yogyakarta. He start the business. Uh, he opened the business uh, when when we are student. He open to to uh, to take opportunity to to help another student to finish their thesis, for example. Yeah, so that's that's cool things. Yeah. So, so anyone who work for a company that create new product service under condition of extreme uncertainty is an entrepreneur. Yeah. So especially uh, yeah, this is from the work that the people that work for company. As, uh, and you can see if we doesn't work for any company. It's more extreme and uh, the asset as an entry. So this means we are also the entrepreneurs. So the entrepreneurship is the contact in which you operate. Yeah. So that will be uh, the important uh, point that you need to to see about it. And then the principle principle number two is entrepreneurship is management. Launching a new product or services is inherently risky, risky, full of uncertainty. Yes, because yeah, you know we never know about the the expectation of the users here, yeah. and managing that risk. And uncertainty is the job of the entrepreneur. So it means we need to brave and to dare to see in the face. Let's say if you want to present your pitch deck about your idea, and then uh, uh, you need to to really really have a strong belief and brave that even the, the evaluator say a minus or maybe contraproductive with you, it doesn't matter. And you need to have to take that race yeah so that will be the important things yeah so that will be the the first yeah that the, the the very important things and then the principle number three is validated learning so uh startup exists to learn how to build a sustainable business you can see in here that the most important thing is how to build a sustainable business it's mean the, the business model need, need proper in the first in the first time yeah uh, and then learning is the unit of progress and learning can only be done by experimentation so this you need to 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 act and then to to have a real experience about about your your business model if fail it doesn't matter it doesn't it's mean it's valid to be failed yeah if if success uh, still uncertainty i think it's it's valid to 
a, a success in that condition. How about another condition? So something like that. So validated learning is the process of testing every element, the vision, and to determine whether the vision is as is sustainable. Yeah. So that would be very important for you to see that this is very, uh, uh, you know, to 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 to, uh, to check and then to to uh, to to know about this learning processes, uh, and then. We do have the build, measure, and learn. This is the fundamental activity of startup is turn idea into product or services, measure how customer respond, and then learn whatever the pivot or preserver. Yeah. So all successful startup process should be uh, geared toward as well think the feedback loop. Yeah. So that will be our direction. So uh, I think all the startup that have no success in the good track, yeah, especially uh, become the unicorn and take the car corn and so on they 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 already and and uh, has 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 uh, you know uh, join this 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 path yeah they, they go to the uh, to the customer respond learn uh, what the, they want the customer want in if necessary they do the pivot yeah uh, if necessary they will do more focus and so on and then they accelerating the business with this feedback yeah so it is like you know some some of this important thing is like when we have a lot of a lot of uh, uh, feedback for example negative feedback from the customer it means the the customer uh, just give us information what we need to do in the future so that's the important things so that's why we need to to catch the feedback uh, we doesn't need to avoid the feedback yeah especially in the negative one yeah so that would be uh, important things and the principle is innovating accounting. Yeah, this is like focus on defining, measuring, and communicating progress. Yeah, so that assumption can be validated, and the product as a service move closer towards sustainability. Yeah, so different from traditional accounting, which is focus on measuring establishes product for sustainable product. So this means like move closer towards sustainable. So so that would be like you know long term a uh, business model. Yeah, so that would be very important. In here, actually, in this point, in the Lean Startup, we also have some learn, lesson learned on it, that in the uh, the five principles can be used as success, success skill yeah, uh, to, to develop our our thinking, how to be the entrepreneurs, how to be the, you know, uh, to the, 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 the faith and then the spirit of, of survival and, and so on. So I think it's very important to, to uh, you know, to, to remember this one, yeah. So it's mean, uh, yeah, you know, extreme uncertainty is always on. So we, we are the entrepreneur of the uncertainty things. The second list is about management. Yeah. So we, we, we need about two minutes the risk, not to avoid the risk, but two minutes the risk. Yeah. And then the, the third is validated learning. It's, it's like us as human. We also always, every day, we, we need to, uh, to have a learning path. Yeah. To see what happened in, in our, our surrounding of us and then we, we can have a uh, perspective on it and we, we learn from the failness we learn from the success we learn from the someone else fails yeah failness and then we, we we learn also the success success of the, the of the another persons yeah so that was more important things and then we also need to uh, to more focus on the you know uh, of the response of the feedback yeah if in in like in daily activity a good friend is a friend that always brave to give us a feedback not not only just yes man friend yeah i think that would be very important yeah and then the principle number five is about we 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 we, we focus on the sustainability so we, we try to divining ensuring and communicating close progress that can be validated and the product service move closer towards sustainability yeah so that's very important so this will be uh, important thing. How we, we we try to develop this is actually the 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 life cycles. Yeah, we we try from the ideas actually. So the, I think all of you have already have the ideas. Uh, last last presentation, I can see you that you have a lot of ideas on it. Yeah, based on your thing. So that that's good point. And then the ideas need to be built. Yeah. So we need to have a discussion. You need uh, with your friend need to discuss more discuss. But the discussion is about the pro not to produce the product, but how you will build your business model. So that will be your next journey. Yeah, so the next uh, presentation, I will I will give you some 
some explanation about it more detail later this year. And then after the adjust, if you build with the sum of the iterative way, you will have the product. And then you will need to measure, you know, measure your product is with the customer need. Uh, based on the data, you go to the customer, you go to the audience, ask about the response, their lesson, and so on. And then you learn. And then after that, you go to the idea again, and then you build your product. So in that in that in that process, uh, you can see that your product is always growth, yeah, uh, always growth based on the 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 measure and learn, yeah. So you need to to catch the the the, the three main uh, process on the on this one, build, measure, and learn, yeah. So that's why uh, last week I give you some opportunity to learn by yourself about the late going technique, yeah. The late going technique actually is uh, inspired by the Lean Startup, yeah. So we think uh, more smaller in the micro thinking, yeah. So I call it micro thinking. So I, 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 I keep the name is Leco, Leco thinking. So we, we try to, to make a brick and then when we want to develop a product, uh, we just combine the brick into one single product that can be custom in for every product. So it means there is no, uh, no wasting brick that we develop, but every brick will be useful for many, many products. Even we need to, to deconstruct the brick and then the another brick will be combined with another brick and then we have new product, something like that. Yeah. So that's one of the cool things actually. So hopefully in this process, every cir in one circle of the process, we will have this one that we call the MVP, the minimum viable products. It is like uh, the minimum uh, uh, features or minimum feasible product that can be uh, communicate with the customers. Yeah, uh, This is like a strategy too, because it is used fast and quantitative market testing uh, of a product or product features. Yeah, So this is like, you know, uh, you, you make a lot of mock up yeah? But it's not only just mock-up, actually. But we mock up that close with the customer need, yeah? And then we realize the mock-up into the prototype, and then we prototype, we go to the customer, and the customer will be respond based on that prototype. That's mean the, the MVP, minimum viable products. So it's very important, because in this process, actually, we, we do a lot of process from the idea generation, yeah? Uh, we generate the idea to, to, to formulate the MVP, and then we do the prototyping. And then we present the prototyping. And then we do the data collection based on the customer. And then we do the analysis and learning. Or what the direction, the next direction of your products. Yeah. So that would be the cool things. So actually, the MVP will be our target until our mid -set. Yeah. So uh, I think we still have, uh, uh, I think, maybe uh, one or two weeks before the mid -set. But uh, hopefully, we can, we, can, we, can, uh, we can have the MVP, this MVP. Yeah. So that would be uh, our journey, yeah. And then, for example, the, the Dropbox, yeah. This is the one of the MVP that's very good for learning. Why is Dropbox more popular than other program with similar functionality? Yeah, they will be uh, be of folder because it's very simple. It's, uh, the the customer will see the storage is like a folder. Uh, we we can add all the stuff in there, and then it can be synchronization with our our desktop or our our computer devices. So it will be very uh, very simple, yeah. And uh, the the idea about this is, uh, is 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 about how we change the way how we 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 save or store our data in more in most easy way in most efficient way. Uh, even we, we we can we can save in our drive in our own drive, but based on using this this uh, Dropbox is more more easy for us. Yeah, something like that, yeah. And what is the pivot? Yeah, so pivot is is uh, is is also uh, one of the strategy during the lean. Yeah, uh, why is more because pivot is such like we we react with the customer changing, and then we we we, we try to react with the the good point. Yeah, so this is like a change to business model component based on customer feedback. So it's not changing the product, but changing the business model. So so the pivot is not failures. Yeah, kalau in, in the in the in the in the uh, in the religious way it's not haram yeah it's also halal yeah so this is a good thing the pivot is not always about uh, bad things but it's good things yeah and pivot is structural course correction so this is the pivot is actually is correction correction from the from the customer about our idea so it is like criticize our idea 
uh, criticize our 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 point of thinking and then uh, we will have a lot of uh, you know uh, some feedback about it and then uh, they will give us uh, some some something new about it and then fundamentally uh, this is like test uh, hypothesis about the product strategy then an engine of growth about the, your startup yeah so that will be uh, uh, the principle of the lean startup so uh, yeah in the if it's, it's work as as we plan I think the pivot will be not happen yet but uh, minor pivot lah uh, at, at least minor minor changing will be happen in our our idea so that's our scenario actually uh, next uh, so I will continue with with our activity actually uh, and, and then I will open the discussion with you uh, the next week I I hope you, you will bring with your friend a slight a speech tech presentation that that you can present in only about five minutes uh, maximum is seven minutes per group yeah uh, you can arrange how many slides that you will you will be put in in your presentation but you are more focused on the what is your purpose business model not the product first so that will be uh, the cool things but before that when you you need to develop that one you need to do these activities yeah I will let you based on your previous group yeah try to make a discussion and develop your strength your, your startup team and then try to think about what is your vision uh, so your mission with your team yeah so for example yes I want to change the problem that appear in the community for example so what what the problem on the community for example the problem on the transportation traffic jam for example the property uh, maybe the hunger or, or something else really related with that yeah and then what are your startup goals yeah so what is your future plan with your with your team maybe you want to be like a uh, game changer in the in the in the transportation uh, payment gateway for example you want to be game changer on the farming uh, market uh, services for example so and etc and then what is your value so what is your belief on the startup if you if you can change in the game so what what your value uh, maybe okay i will i will believe if if this this idea work uh in the five years um uh, this this community will be more proper will be more prosper and will be helped and then and etc and then you can define what is your startup product with the business model that you want to, to provide yeah so um it doesn't matter what you uh, i will i will not focus first on the big data or maybe iot piece or maybe some application that you want to build, but what your game changing uh, purpose? What is your changing with your, your business model that is different? And what you want to be disrupt with the current business model that exists today? Yeah, and then make it in the pitch deck form. Yeah, in the pitch deck uh, presentation, I think you can you can see in in the internet many many example about the pitch deck presentation. And then the next week, I will invite uh, my friend to join this class, and then. He will be uh, the, the judge uh, uh, with your idea in the pitch deck. Yeah, he, he will be from the startup and then he will give the insight about it. And then and hopefully you can you, you will have some feedback about your idea first from the from the expert or from the expertise that uh, FET work on on, on, the, on the startup development processes. Yeah. So that will be uh, your, your next journey. So after you have this one, uh, we will think about the product and so on yeah so so hopefully after that you you can we can do the lean process in the in the in the very comprehensive way any discussion or any question from you please uh sir so so it's using